Hello everyone. So the unexpected happened today, and that was a balance change for a lot of styles. In today's video I will be explaining what these changes were, as well as show you how bad or good these buffs were. Let's start with the first buff, the freedom style buff. I know, this style just got released, and it already has a buff. The buff it got was a block buff, which I guess was expected. And the smash mode M1's coming out faster. So you can actually use the smash mode now. The new freedom block actually is pretty decent, although it's still not good. You can tank a lot of attacks using it. And it won't break in one M1 combo like what it used to be. If you just avoid attacks using whirlwind mode so you could heal your block back to full. You are pretty safe with freedom's weak block. Next up is the quote on quote best style in the game getting a nerf. The only reason why I have not made a video on long guard was because of how cheesy the style was, his M1s pretty much dealt the same damage as Hitman's M1s while having good dashes, good speed and good range. This style before this nerf was really just the best style in the game. But now, the massive nerfs it got, which are a lowered M1 damage overall, and nerfed overall range. Basically just reverted it back to its old version which was long guard during the ghost update. And compared to its old damage, long guard currently does not deal that much damage in comparison. Although this makes it balanced now. Hopefully you long guard mains use the style because it's fun and not because it was unbalanced. So you will keep using it right? Right? Next up is the other best style in the game, Hitman. You probably thought Hitman got the same treatment as long guard, but that's unfortunately not the case. The nerf it got was a dash nerf, you know. The thing Hitman players never use. This nerf made it take more stamina when using its dashes, so for the most part. Hitman is pretty much still the same. Because who even uses the dash key when they are using Hitman lol? Just M1. No one outspeeds you. Next up is a style that was done dirty on most of the new updates, the Kimura style. I can't even bother to tell you what it got, but it's basically a buff or nerf, depending on how you view it. The slow debuff he has now drops more quickly, hence the nerf part I said. But hitting a blocking opponent now lets them keep their slowdown. So with this statement. My hypothesis is that, before this update, Kimura's slowdown effect never did apply through block. So you can only apply slowdown once the opponent does not block the M1s. I don't know about this but I'm gonna have to test this in a later video. But one of the buffs Kimura also got was that its M1s deal slightly more damage now making it actually deal damage with his M1s. But the thing is, even with these buffs, in my honest opinion, it still feels pretty much the same. So I don't know what to think about it. You can use Kimura right now and tell me how his feels for you in the comments section below. Anyways, the next buff is pretty crazy for this one style. The Slugger style. Everything that Slugger has now deals more damage. Both his M1s and M2s. But they still do not deal that much block damage. So when you get caught once by a slugger, say goodbye to your health. Okay, the remaining buffs I am going to be showing, are pretty minor buffs. But were needed. The first buff is hands lows buffs. It pretty much just got a stamina buff. Making everything he has take less stamina. So hands low can deal pretty solid damage. Even though the attacks don't deal that much damage alone, multiple attacks coming from it will. Next is ghost's buff. It was pretty unnoticeable but, basically it got more chip damage. If you guys do not know what chip damage is, what I'm guessing is that it's basically the damage his M1 deals when you're blocking. This buff is pretty good, but Ghost was already good as it was, but still. This buff was pretty nice. Did not feel a difference when using it though. And the last one for this video that got buffed is Trickster. Ah yes, Trickster, it's always these two getting buffs every balance patch right. Although they deserve it. The buff that Trickster got was basically just less penalty when spamming dashes. Well, good for him I guess. And yeah, those are the buffs and nerfs these styles got. Will these make you use or not use these styles? What are your opinions on these balance changes? Feel free to comment down your thoughts on the comment section below. Anyways that's all from me, see you guys on the next one. Peace.